Say hello to Dobbins. Is this an air reserve base? Is this Dobbins Air Reserve Base? Dobbins Air Reserve Base. Where a U-2 or ER-2 appears to have screwed us and is going to be arriving from this direction rather than next to us. But, so it gives us an opportunity to observe a local air reserve base that doesn't appear to have any aircraft showing at all. Oh, I think I see him. I see him. I see lights. I see landing lights. I got eyes. Increasing the zoom. Ultra Super Mega Zoom. God damn, it's got like one wheel. It's a unicycle. It's a unicycle U2. Unfortunately, can you see him with your naked eyes, Mark? You cannot? Would you like to come look at my screen? Oh, if I look at it with my naked eye, I lose it, so I better just keep it in the box. All right, naked eyes. We got Mark's got naked eyes on it. Mark one eyeball. I still can't when I look at my naked. Oh, I see it yet. Yeah. Okay, I've got naked eyes on it too. This is an incredible, incredible privilege to have this thing coming and going from Dobbins until March. Observing weather events on, I guess, the eastern seaboard, this thing spent its day circling over, what was it, Mark, New England? Circling over New England at 60,000 feet, sometimes even 70,000 feet. The pilots of this aircraft have to be very careful about what they eat and when they eat. That's tactical malnutrition, basically. Because although they are equipped with pedal packs for pee pee, they have no place to poo poo. So the man on this particular ER2 is starving. Oh, this is pretty good, Mark. This is pretty good. This is good stuff. ER2, unicycle, now groundscape. Oh, boysies. We're gonna watch it race with a chase vehicle, presumably. There, there's the chase vehicle, badass. Oh, I love it, that's so cool. Oh, yes. Wobbles, wobbles, still floating, has not touched down yet. We want them to use every last bit of runway. I think they're now touching down behind the checkerboard box. The two have met one another. And the pilot of this aircraft is eager to get his hands on some Arby's. Or perhaps Zaxby's. It's Sunday, so Chick-fil-A is closed, so can't be that. How does that work? How does the outrigger wheel does it just wobble there and then it touch yep, then the wing touches. It's not a wing strike, no, this is all intentional. Chase vehicle is coming to rest, and another vehicle is coming out to, I guess, get the wheels set up, right? The little training wheels. Oh, cool. This is neat. Oh, wow! He's doing pull-ups! I'm just kidding. They're trying to pull the wing down. I guess that helps pull the other side up. It's like a seesaw. Don't get smashed, sir. This is fascinating. This guy's just hangry as hell. Huh. All right, so. Thanks for coming to work on a Sunday, boys. I like the way he runs. No walking, we're running, we're running. We're getting things done efficiently. Okay, he's doing something behind the wing that we will never be able to know. 
probably hooking up a ground power cable. Whoa, that guy's on the wing. Cool. Is he bringing the Arby's? Oh no, he's disregarding the pilot. He's more concerned with the outriggers. That's fantastic, dude. This makes for great YouTube TV. They've got to pull that wing down, and the three of them doing pull-ups didn't work, so the full weight of another man will help pull this wing up. And we can drop it up on its outrigger. Sure takes a lot to get this bird in. I'm sure the whole shutdown process is not very fun either. But this has been a pleasure to watch. Now does it taxi under its own power? It must, because I can see some exhaust thrust. I can see the exhaust. And it looks like it's taxiing off the runway now under its own power. Get a great side view of it though. Let's get some super attack ultra zoom. I like the NASA logo. It's a cool logo and it always has been. Fantastic. I think that pilot is finally going to have himself some lunch. Oh man, I can't take my eyes off of it. While there are surely base security people who can't take their eyes off of me. Nevertheless, that, I, think we, I think we did it. I think we got it, Mark.